guys welcome back to my channel it is me your girl zambian mandy if you're new welcome 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 to the family if you're a returning subscriber hugs and kisses to you guys okay so in today's vlog i'm going to be talking about architectural school um some of the courses the courses that i took in my first year of architecture yeah i'm going to run through you guys i'm going to run you guys through so the first one I'm going to talk about is communication skills. So communication skills, just as it is, I feel like communication skills is an important course for whichever career or whatever you want to do in life. Because it's just like letter writing, memo writing, reports, and this stuff like that, public speaking and the like. So yeah, that course was very helpful, but damn, 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 damn. From high school, English hasn't been my best, so com skills I found a little bit challenging the second course that i took well this is geography so i'm sure you're wondering geography and architecture but yeah geography and architecture yes because okay geography we're looking at stuff like physical geography human geography geography itself geography landforms river systems and stuff like that because i mean when you're designing you'll be given land with different terrains different terrains with different drainage systems yeah being smart the course which i'm going to talk about is built environment as the name states built environment i'm mainly looking at the built environment which is like buildings human made things buildings we look at walls foundations roofs floors finishes the timbers that you use the mechanisms that you use in building principles you must follow as you come up with your foundations but yeah it's it's an interesting course it's like it was something new for me but yeah very very interesting course and um very you have to like pay attention especially to details because like, details are very important in architecture right so the fourth course i'm going to talk about is mathematics so the math that we're doing was kind of like additional mathematics i think i'm not sure if it's a level math because i don't know much about a level math but i just feel like University should be a level math, but yeah, pretty much more of ad man, just like basic math. You have stuff like trig, um, I'm not sure if trig and calculus are the same. No, trig, <laughs> calculus, partial fractions. So, we took math yeah. now. So, the fifth course that we took was sociology. I know, I'm sure you're wondering, sociology, but like, I mean, why? I was also wondering the same thing. I was like, why am I studying? Why am I studying the mind? But I guess I was confusing sociology for psychology. I know. But in sociology, we were learning about human behavior, human interactions, how humans behave. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but the, the lighting is changing as I move. So I think I might have to stay in my position. Yeah, human behavior, human interactions. Because as architects, you'll be designing building structures for human beings so you might as well learn how human beings behave how we interact so that you're able to design specifically for the human beings yeah but for sociology i felt like sociology was more like civic education and like history because we had like early thinkers and um culture and all that so it felt like civic education and history i'm just saying social studies the best for last, the one which made me cry a lot, is studio, 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 100, 100. Oh, so studio is, as the name states, studio, you're doing, you're doing your drawings on your A4 paper, will not match on A4, on your A3 paper, on your A2 paper, using the long rulers, the T-squares, the triangles, the pencils, the edge pencil, your 6 edge pencil, just feeling like a bowler, you know what I mean? yeah so studio is about drawing and all pretty much that we did floor plans we learned how to draw floor plans come up with our own floor plan designs um elevations sections roof layouts foundation plans all that stuff we learned in studio we also we also learned how to do freehand drawing perspectives using your floor plan you know drawing proportion like making sure that your hand is steady when you're doing stuff so yeah that's what we learned in studio i must say studio made me cry a lot
<laughs> Every time we were given an assignment, my eyes became watery. Or must I say, I, I shed a few tears. Maybe more than a few, but yeah. I feel like that's how uni is. You just have to cry. But you, the time will pass, it will pass. And you'll be like, wait, I'm the one who did that. Me. I'm the one who did that. And like, yeah, you'll be like, can't share my hard on. So check for upcoming videos this time i am free because i come on break so i'll make more videos about maybe like the instruments that we used and just going in depth into the courses the courses that i took oh my goodness lord i can't believe this i forgot one more course i don't know how many courses do we take is it seven or six i can't even remember but my bad the course which we took was economics i can't believe i forgot economics like how how do i forget economics In economics we're looking at of course your demand your supply international trade we also looked at productions costs and stuff like that not particular not particular not particularly concerning architecture or building but just in general um in second year that's when they offer like economics building economics which has more to do with the buildings and stuff so i hope you guys enjoyed i'm so sorry economics i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this video is helpful be sure to like subscribe and do bye